So uh, lately, multiple systematic surveys have characterized main issues related to NMA publications, including uh, what statistical methods are more frequently used by NMA authors or how the results are being published. Uh, and until now, we can say that there are has many different versions of uh, summary of finding tables for NMA as there are NMA reports. So the soft table for NMA that we develop addresses most of the aspects that uh, are reported in the NMA literature. So uh, with this project, um, we started the process of developing an NMA summary of finding table with two preliminary uh, formats that were developed for the Gray Working Group. Uh, and through four rounds of interviews that you can see here, uh, various modifications were done to the preliminary formats. And the third round specifically here, uh, after the third round, sorry, feedback from experts in NMA and a review of literature provided additional information that permitted creating a single NMA summary of finding table format. So in summary, in the, in the process of developing the final format of the great uh, NMA as of the table included, uh, we included multiple resources of information such as brainstorming meetings, information retrieved for literature review, feedback from an advisory group, and um, interviews or semi-structured interviews through a user testing uh, process. So what is the optimal presentation of uh, the results of, uh, of NMA reports? Here, um, these are the components that we included in the final NMA S of F uh, table format. Um, we included the details of the clinical question or the PICO question. Um, we included as well a uh, network meta-analysis graphic or geometry. Uh, we are presenting the relative and the absolute uh, estimates. Obviously, we are presenting the certainty of evidence, the ranking of treatments, and um, the interpretation of uh, findings. So what does the NMAs of table format look like? Here, um, this is the final format of our, this is the format that we use during all the rounds uh, during the user testing process. Uh, this NMA subtable uh, um, is presenting, uh, or this NMA subtable has three sections. Here we have an upper section, a middle section, and a lower section. So let's talk about uh, the components included in this um, summary of finding table format. So for the upper section that you can see here, um, this uh, section displays information regarding the PICO components. I think most of us are familiar with these PICO components. And starting from the top of this section, we presented the information regarding the patient population uh, of interest. Then we have here all the interventions that need to be described under this uh, intervention label, except one intervention that needs to be selected has a reference comparator. Uh, we suggest different options to choose the reference comparator for the NMA uh, subtable. Uh, it can be a placebo intervention, a gold standard treatment for uh, the condition under review, the best cost-effective intervention, or the least uh, effective uh, uh, intervention. Also, um, we included in, the, in our uh, format what outcome that need to be chosen for each NMA of table, and the follow-up information has to be part of the outcome label as well. Finally, a setting information is the last label for this uh, PICO section. Uh, as part of the, this section, we also included here the NMA uh, graph for the entire uh, network. And we'll see in the next example uh, some characteristics of this NMA uh, graph. 
in the middle section or this middle section is composed of eight outcomes that report the following information. Um, here is, um, we have the total number of studies included for the entire network with the total number of participants and the interventions for a specific outcome with one row for each intervention. We also have seen the current uh, subtable for uh, fairware comparisons are presenting the relative effect uh, estimate for each uh, intervention which is calculated relative to the reference the, to the reference comparator. We also have here uh, three columns, two of them that report the anticipated absolute effect information relative to the reference comparator for each of the interventions and what that reports the risk difference as the difference between two anticipated absolute effects information, the certainty of the evidence with the rational for downgrading the body of the evidence, the ranking probability of the uh, interventions, we can be expressed as median or supra with the corresponding uh, credible interval, and the interpretation of findings that describes the level of superiority or inferiority of each intervention compared to the reference comparator after combination of the relative effect estimate, the certainty of the evidence, and uh, the rank uh, probability. Um, lastly, the lower section has three cells in which the user uh, of the table can find the uh, first year definitions about NMA terminology and abbreviations used in the NMA of tables. We also have here a description of each of the final grade certainty of evidence uh, judgment. And uh, we have also the explanatory footnotes that describe uh, in detail the rationale of the certainty of evidence uh, assessments. Here we have also um, in this um, slide, um, the final uh, NMA subtable uh, format. Um, this is the format that we got after all the user testing, brainstorming, uh, meetings, and the literature review. Uh, so let's see some details of this uh, NMA uh, subtable. So for the upper section, here you can see uh, the same labels that we included in the first NMA subtable example regarding the PICO information. We have here the patient population, the intervention, the comparator or reference, the outcome with the follow-up information, and the setting. Um, the only new information that we added to this final NMA subtable format is the label here, um, benefits. We decide to include this label since um, for the purpose of uh, healthcare decision making, we will need at least uh, two NMAs of tables. One um, that displays information for a benefit outcome and another one for a harm outcome. Only this table is showing information uh, for the benefit outcome prevention of advanced neoplasia. Uh, we have another table uh, for uh, harm outcome in the next uh, slide. I want to point out some specific characteristics that we decide to include in here, the network graph. So these characteristics uh, include circles uh, with different size that represents each of the interventions, including the reference comparator, which is here, placebo. Um, the size is defined by the number of participants exposed to the interventions, and besides each of each uh, circle, there is the name of the uh, intervention. We also have here uh, solid lines uh, with different widths, um, that are connecting the interventions um, uh, for only the direct uh, comparison. Finally, 
the line uh, width uh, denote the number of RCTs for a specific direct comparison. Um, for the middle section, we keep all the information we included in our first example, as you can see here. However, for each intervention, we added a specific, uh, specific uh, features. So here, um, for each intervention, we added a description of the number of participants uh, included in the direct comparison only. For the relative effect section, we also added uh, for um, each intervention whether the contribution for the relative effect comes from the direct evidence, the indirect evidence, or from the NMA estimates. For this particular, uh, and this is based on the certainty uh, um, or the high uh, certainty of evidence. In this particular example, uh, most of the uh, interventions uh, uh, were um, assessed as a low for the certainty of evidence. Uh, therefore, we uh, present the NMA estimate in the relative effect. No further changes were done for the other components of this uh, middle section. So we have here the anticipated absolute effect that we described before, also the certainty of uh, evidence, uh, the ranking, and the interpretation of findings. We have here, um, we, do, we did not change anything for the lower section in this final NMA of table format, um, but however, we want to encourage to users uh, of this format to use the explanatory footnote cell to describe in detail the reasons to write down the certainty of evidence. Um, we already know that clear explanations in this section will allow to readers to increase their confidence in an estimate of effect. Here um, is another NMA example that is displaying information for an uh, uh, harm outcome serious adverse events. Uh, and as we mentioned before, for decision-making uh, purposes, it is important to make your decision based on desirable and undesirable, uh, undesirable effects of the intervention. So this, com this outcome is part of the same NMA that we use to get the benefit outcome uh, information. Uh, here we have the same uh, um, Bar for for this uh, harm outcome related with the with the NMA summary of finding table uh, information, and here uh, until now, oh, we haven't talked about the interpretation of finding columns. So for this particular column, we are working on an initial approach to draw conclusions from uh, NMA. So through these sequential steps that you can see here, we will describe the level of superiority or inferiority of each, interve of each intervention when um, it is compared with the reference comparator after combination of the relative effects, estimates, the certainty of the evidence, uh, the rank, probability, and, and, and the NMA estimate components. Particularly for the um, rank probability uh, probabilities, empiric evidence or recent uh, evidence has shown that there is uncertainty in the results of the first top three ranks. So, considering the final rate of the certainty of evidence and the level of uh, uncertainty between the first top three ranks it would be possible to present in, an, in a unique NMA subtable format the best available evidence for both benefit and harm outcomes. Uh, let's see in this particular example that uh, for the benefit outcome, the certainty, this is an example, in this example for, this, for the benefit outcome, the certainty of the evidence was rated as high for the non-aspirin uh, intervention. Here it is. It was also uh, classified in the first top rank. 
uh, and the other two interventions displayed uh, had the same certainty of evidence, um, but with a second and third top rank across all the interventions. So we are presenting here the top uh, three um, um, interventions for the benefit outcome. But also in the case um, of the harm outcome, uh, here the intervention calcium was rated with the highest certainty of evidence across all the interventions. Therefore, we included for this outcome the evidence with the highest certainty of evidence and also those intervention reported in the top of the ranking as well, which are here. Um, we are aware that further simulations need to be developed with the purpose of determining the best approach to report NMA evidence in this specific context uh, uh, of healthcare uh, decision making. So, um, wrapping up, we can say that our uh, NMA subtable captures the complexity of the information reported in an NMA publication while um, maximizing simplicity to achieve a user-friendly presentation. We also can say that in a single format, uh, uh, we report relevant information that the literature described as, uh, as important for NMA findings, including certainty of evidence and ranking. And we also are aware that uh, further experience with users may result in modifications to the current table or the development of other uh, formats. So back to our learning objective, I hope this session has allowed you to gain familiarity in interpreting findings of uh, NMA through NMA summary finding tables. Um, I also want to acknowledge to Holger Schunemann, who is my supervisor, um, for all his support during the development of uh, this research project. Uh, and also it has been an honor to work with him all this time. And also I would like to say thank you to all of these professors and colleagues from McMaster and Great Working Group who have also uh, given me the support uh, with this project. And finally, a huge thank you to all of the participants um, uh, of the interviews that with their knowledge and feedback have asked to create a great NMA of table.